Metrics is a great opportunity to work with health professionals. Not only does it offer the opportunity for health professionals to create ancillary income and increase, but a health practitioner with just 100 patients utilizing one of our products like Daily Essentials can bring in an extra $2,500 in retail alone to their practice, not counting the 4,000 business volume that it creates. It's a wonderful thing. And you know what? Health professionals, like every business, they have employees, and it's a great way to liquidate increases with competitive opportunities to sell products for them. Uh, we also have the trainings that go with them. Uh, I think there's something that we have that we could go right from Nutrimetrics that have unbelievable trainings. How many of you have ever attended a Nutrimetrics training? Anybody? Fantastic. We have a Nutrimetrics 101, 201, and we also have something that works with them, the whole three-day, which is now a two-day health professional training, as well as the Nutrimetrics consultant training. All right, so let's talk about the web solutions. You know, I will say this to you. This opportunity to create retail profits of a thousand or more dollars per sales is the way to go. Bottom line is, if you need more cash flow in the business, take a look at what products are going to put you there. You don't have to be a tech technology person to be able to represent our web center solution. You also get a nice boost in business volume. If you're looking to expand your network, it's a perfect secondary or primary major for you that leads to more relationships to grow the business. We also can go right through in customization. You can own a web center, and ladies and gentlemen, when you get your tickets, you get a free web center. So you not really want to get into that if you're into technology and you want to start selling sites to small and medium-sized businesses, you should go after it. Please attend the breakout tonight. Uh, tonight at the Victoria Ballroom. Actually, it's Saturday night at uh, 8 p.m. August 10th. We have a breakout for the uh, Web Center uh, major. You don't want to miss that. Learn to succeed. Register for the bingo program that's out there right now. Uh, it's good. Go by the booth. Get to talk to some of the people. I think it's a great way to learn more about the business. I talked to you about Nutrimetrics. Don't forget, there's also a breakout tonight. It's at 9 to 10.30 in the Imperial Ballroom tonight. Attend the Nutrimetrics TLS breakout. Also, visit the booth. They've got some great things. They're doing interviews up there. Also, attend a Nutrimetrics training. Other things you should know, a tremendous program that we put in with Shop Financial. Uh, Charlie Bear did a wonderful job in helping more and more people learn about the debt shredder. This is something that continues to grow. I have been talking to unfranchised owners, get this, that have sold anywhere from 20 to 37 of these in the first six months of the year. As many as 37 of these. That's 1,400 in retail profit per before the 600 BV per customer. Ladies and gentlemen, some people don't want to sell a consumable. Some people want to sell this type of product. Do you see what happens when you can recruit with this kind of flexibility? You're not just selling one type of product or service. So you don't have to do everything, but be aware of what your business offers. So that's really good. So step one, become a shop financial rep. Uh, it's a code 6091. In Canada, it's 6091. And so you can go to the breakout to learn more on August 9th, Friday at 8 p.m. You can stop by the booth. They have a webinar program for training for 10 consecutive weeks, and they started over. Uh, and I think you'll really enjoy, we just approved, it's past legal, Ha ha ha, wonderful. We've now added for the GMTSS, there is now a Shop Financial 101 and an advanced Shop Financial 201 that teaches you how to work with debt shredders, with brokers, insurance companies, larger groups of people that can implement on a very large scale. Very powerful, we're loving it. Don't forget our health and nutrition store. It's endless, it's amazing what we offer here. We cover a range of wellness solutions. Why do I love this? It gives you a lot of flexibility. For any age to look to achieve better health, superior delivery systems with isotonics, and now what, the cap in cap uh, release with our new witch product? 
Which product? Who, what's the new cap and cap release? What product? Thymanol. Thymanol. Hey, do not forget about those new products. Got to order them. Okay. All right. Include gut and joint, mental health, energy, performance, general nutrition. The health and nutrition store is amazing. You can attend the new product breakout tonight from 8 to 9 p.m. in the Imperial Ballroom. Attend the GMTSS product training. We have product trainers. And attend our annual product symposium, Springfield, Massachusetts, October 4th, 5th, and 6th for an intensive two and a half days of study about how and why our products work and then join us in Anaheim, California the following weekend and that will be our Chinese um, uh, spoke, teach, taught. Ha! I played football. Um, so <laughs> that will be our Chinese taught product symposium that will have English translation, okay? So again, those kind of things you need to be aware of. And by the way, if you haven't visited your site, isotonics.com forward slash your URL, check it out. Here's one that's underdeveloped that we need to keep growing. You heard uh, Vina earlier today. Here's a woman in the skincare industry saying, when she finally took a look at Lumiere de Vie and the supporting personal care products, what an amazing amount of ingredients. What an amazing amount of science-based ingredients for our skin care. Skin care is the largest organ we have. We want to stay young. We want to stay on top of things. So if you're into this side, and I think both women and men will be into this because we all want to be vital looking and be very attractive in our each and every day. Visit the booth, Motive Skin Care Breakout, Thursday night from 8 to 10, the Blue Ash Room. Uh, go out and look for the Motive Skin Care 101, the Advanced Skin Solution Workshop, and again, we cover also skin care products at our annual product symposiums. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see how we, with the Mark in America University, create a recruiting opportunity with the diversity of the different types of products that we have. Please realize this is one of the advantages of why an unfranchised business makes so much sense. Don't get lost just in the product brokerage concept. Know that we have the university concept that will attract people looking for that type of business. So the Mark in America University is your university, so please treat it as such, treat it with respect, continue to grow your knowledge. You don't have to do everything, be aware of everything. Make sense? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so now, with the theme of retail and marketing, all right? I'm gonna take you to another area. I'm taking you to an area that's gonna help you not only grow your business with cash flow, but also grow your business with new partners. Now, I wanna to talk to you about retail marketing in the 21st century. You know, there's a saying, live like you'll, learn like you'll live forever, live like there's no tomorrow, okay? And, and that makes a lot of sense. If you're not, growing, then you're going the other way. So let's keep growing. So I'm reading these tabloids and I'm reading about this study on all these smart people that got together. Because old days when I came up, it was business to consumer, television, radio, advertising. But when I grew up, there was only three channels. Made sense, okay? Now that I'm 39, it's all different. <laughs> oh. oh. You don't believe me, okay. So we had direct mail, we had free samples, we had direct sales, we had party sales, we had infomercials like QVC. Who ever heard that a commercial would turn into a 30 minute? But who, was a, who bought Ginsu knives? I did, you know, the whole, that's old school. So this smart group of people got together and said, it's the 21st century, we gotta think smartphones. Everybody lives on a smartphone. We gotta be online customer reviews. And by the way, everyone here needs to owe it to yourself to write at least one product review per week. It'll take you as much as a minute or two. But do yourself a favor, people buy because of reviews, okay? I go out to dinner, first I look at what we have at Shop Local, then my daughter will look at Yelp. She said, oh, Dad, we can't go there because it don't have a lot of reviews. Well, we can go here because it has good reviews. You know? But the whole point is reviews count. 
so put them out there. All right, second, emojis. Cute. It's marketing now. I'm even getting text messages from people I don't know because I fit a category. I'm going home and I'm going to kill my Alexa. She's giving out too much information. All right. Online orders, fast delivery, in-store pickup, everything 21st century. But look what the last thing was. Look at this. Pop-ups. What? Trunk shows. Parties. Community and fun. Well, that's old school, isn't it? I thought it was. So I start digging in deeper. So they start teaching me. Why do pop-ups, trunk shows, and parties work? These are the brilliant minds around the country. Well, there's a response to the experience we understand, and ultimately, the buyer can connect with the seller. Brilliant. Really? Okay, touch points. What do you mean, touch points? Well, a touch point is when you can pick up the product, there's value in picking up a product. So when people can be in a party or have a trunk show or do something like that, they can feel it, see it, and get value. The increase of likelihood of purchasing and willingness to pay happens after touch points, after the experience. Offers a sense of psychological ownership. Whenever you do a home party or show or something, put the product in the person's hand. Put it in their hand. All of a sudden, says, oh, okay, I guess this is mine. I'm not giving it back. Great, give me the money, okay? So, and a lot of you just can't ask for it. Don't feel bad. The products are really good. You can ask for the money. So again, also allows them to check the physical qualities and have sensory experience. Feel and touch is important to the decision making. Okay, so does it make sense? Pooh, does it make sense? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me ask you something. Do we recommend you have product shows or uh, motives mix or, or doing something in Wellness 101 or TLS overview at home? Do we recommend home business presentations? This is why. This is not old school. This is 21st century marketing. Guess what? They figured it out. Even with technology, we're still human. What a breakthrough. Now, to touch more on the human experience, we have learned the best time to offer a referral coupon or referral incentive is when you do the home party and the person in attendance happens to like the subject. Because they like the subject, they are more prone to make the recommendation. This is a great time to make a coupon for maybe five or $10 off every $50 purchase. So if we know scientifically that people that come to a party or go to a trunk show that feels like they're confident on the topic, they're most likely to take the coupon and give it to a family member. Does everybody get that? So let's learn more. So I've got this brilliant guy. He's a million dollar earner. He, I call him Mr. Excitement. He's the kind of guy that you just want to hug. He's a hell of a guy. For those of you who live in New York, you, he goes by the name of Phil Guido. But when he comes with me, he's Mr. Excitement. He's going to take you through a presentation to make you experts in trial size marketing. Please help me welcome to the stage, Phil Guido. All right, listen, I'm going to talk fast. You got to listen fast. I got a lot to say in the next 20 minutes. Obviously, we introduced some amazing, amazing products earlier today, and as future conventions roll on, there'll be more to come, right? Uh, but at the same time, we have one of the leading nutritional supplement brands in the worldwide marketplace in isotonics, and we have a secret advantage. That secret advantage is called Marty Weissman. <laughs> and Marty and his team over the past number of years have worked really hard to give us a number of our health and nutrition products in these simple single-dose packets. And I know all of you know that because you probably brought them in your luggage because they're great to travel with, but how are you using those single-dose packets to build your business? That's the question. That's the question I had with my team about a year and a half, two years ago. And the answer was a lot of people were using them, but nobody really had a system. 
And everybody was doing it in a different way. And if there's one thing I've learned, I've been in this business now, this is my 26th international convention, I've learned that if you're going to teach your group anything, you have to teach them how to do it in a certain systemized, specific way, step by step. Otherwise, it doesn't duplicate. You'll learn how to do it. You'll teach a few people. They'll teach a few. But then it gets diluted when you pass it down by word of mouth. So we went to the drawing board and decided we have to systemize this somehow. And I, I wanted them to start getting those trial packets in the hands of people. And right off the bat, I decided the key number was to give everybody or sell everybody a three-day supply, a three-day supply. Why a three-day supply? I think I just went back to my roots to 1994 when the only good product we had was called Thermochrome 5000, a health product that came in a trial pack. And all everybody in the company did was give these trial packs out or sell the trial packs and take orders for bottles. And many of the people who bought those bottles eventually became customers. And I always thought that part of the success in converting those trial packs to sales was the fact that it was a three-day trial pack. And that gave us three days to drip on those customers and pass along more information. The more they knew about the product they were taking, the more confidence they had, and the more likely they were to buy it. So three days was the magic number. And we started to go about our business by selling people three-day supplies of all these little small packets. And as we were doing that, complaints were rolling in from everybody on my team that were doing it, that it was too hard, they felt like they were pushing products on people and trying to get their money. And at one point in time, I decided, you know what? Why don't we just give them away for free? <laughs> Let's just give them away. And they said to me, what? Give them away? Free? There's no value in free. And I said, well, if that's true, if that's true, why do so many companies give stuff away for free? Every car dealer in America will give you a free test drive in any car you show interest in. Any major hotel chain gives away free weekends in their resorts, if you do the 90-minute timeshare. Any mattress company from coast to coast will deliver a $2,000 mattress to you, put it on your bed, and let you sleep on it for three months before you decide whether or not to buy it. Those are all forms of free trial size marketing, and I could give you dozens more, and I decided if it works for them, it should work for us. There is value in free. That car, car dealer knows that if he can get you in that car, if he can get you the, a little taste of it, get you the feel of it, get you to experience it, the chances of him selling you that car go through the roof. So why aren't we doing the same thing? Come on, guys, let's try it. So we started packaging our stuff up, little trial pack, Three trials in there, three days supply, and we put a brochure in there. What brochure do we use? I use two of them on one piece of paper. So you go to your back office, and you look for the Daily Essentials Benefits brochure, and you look for the Daily Essentials Corporate brochure. The corporate brochure has all the ingredients in the product. I don't think that's enough. That's the science part of it. What's going to sell the product is the benefits. What will it do for me? So I put the paper in the printer, print the corporate brochure, turn the paper over, print the other brochure on the back, and that's what goes in here. And this becomes my trial pack. And you could carry three or four or five of these with you anywhere you go. I don't want to see you stuffing a bunch of stuff into isotonics cups and using that as your trial pack because you can't fit them in your pockets, right? You got to have it packaged up like this. So what we do is we simply go out there, and in any given conversation, as we go along, you have to keep it in your mind. Um, and it could always be, it could just be an afterthought when you're talking to friends, family, coworkers. Half the time I'm walking away from the conversation and I think of it, the bell rings, I go, oh, one, one more thing, one more thing. Maybe you could help me out with something. I'm helping my company with a survey. And they're allowing me to give 10 people this month free isotonics. Now, I don't tell them my, helping my company with a trial size marketing campaign or my company's allowing me to give people trial packets of That's what we say when we talk to you. We call it trial size marketing. We don't use that language with the customers. If I tell my customer I'm doing a trial size marketing campaign, it means I'm going to let them try it and that because I intend to market it to them, i.e. get them to get their wallet out and pay me for it. All I want them to do is try it and give me their feedback. Sincerely, that's all I want them to do. So in any given conversation, friends, family, coworkers, it could be other people that you meet. We'll get to that in a minute. Very simple conversation. Help me out. Say the word help. It'd be a big help to me if, if you can try it for me. I have to give 10 people this month. Nine people did it already. 
I only have one left, and I only have a few days to go. Can you help me out? I really could use the help. I really appreciate all the help you're giving me. Now, the minute you start that conversation, the product has to come out of your pocket, and you have to hand it to them. Don't keep it in your pocket or in your hands. Don't show it to them. Get rid of it. Put it in their hands. As soon as you start the conversation, put it in their hands. That's a technique that works with any product you sell, by the way. It could be a 90-day bottle of OPC3. When you put it in their hands, the chances of you selling that product go up. So get, at, get it out of your hands. They won't give it back to you. Now, we give them the three-day trial pack, and it's very simple. We tell them, all you have to do is tear one of those packets open, put it in a cup, add eight ounces of water, and drink it. And uh, I'm going to have a question or two about the product in a couple of days. And it's a big help to me. I really do appreciate it. Now, the one bit of science that you do have to know is your simple explanation of what it means to be an isotonic-capable supplement. I mean, in your own words, short, sweet, and to the point. You don't have to be Dr. Deidre Mason. You do it your way. I say to them, it's an isotonic-capable supplement. All that means is it's a powdered supplement that mixes with water to form a very pleasant-tasting, naturally-flavored, effervescent nutritional cocktail. You drink it down on an empty stomach, and it delivers a very high percentage of the nutrition into your body in minutes. And that's why most people feel the difference when they drink isotonic nutrition. So we're giving people three-day trial packs. After you hand it to them, after they agree to help you, that's when you tell them what else they have to do. Don't spill the whole deal until they say, sure, I'll help you out, and they have it in their hands. And then we ask them to simply text us their phone number, uh, 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 email us their phone number, or I say to them, hey, give me your phone number. I'm going to text you a short video. The video goes with the survey. We're surveying two things. This is an important point. A lot of people that I've talked to around the country who are doing trial size marketing missed this point, and it's critical. The survey is not just on the product. You're surveying on the product and the video. The video helps you sell the product. So I tell them, I have to text you a link to a short video. It's only four minutes long. You could watch it on your phone. We're surveying on the product. We want you to take it and let us know what you thought. And then we created this video that explains the product. We want to know if we did a good job. So I'm just going to ask you one question about the product and one question about the video. Now, you could do this with anyone, friends, family, coworkers. Those are easy. Nobody in your friends, family, or coworkers, or unless you have a couple of dysfunctional family members, is going to refuse to give you their phone number, right? <laughs> you could also do it cold market. You could do it in the restaurant. You could do it talking to the waiter. You could do it with your Uber driver. You could do it with people you meet online somewhere. Now, if you're talking to people who are cold market, who you don't know, you can't have the waiter come over to the table and say, um, can we take your drink order first, or would you like to start with appetizers? And you say, uh, by the way, I'm doing a trial size marketing campaign. You know, you have to make a friend first if it's cold market. Talk to them. Develop a relationship throughout the meal. Hey, this is a busy restaurant. This place is unbelievable. Now he goes away, he comes back. Well, you look like you're in shape. You must work out. Have a conversation, whether it's the Uber driver, the person sitting next to you on the plane, or whoever it might be. By the end of the meal, you'll make a decision whether or not you want to go there or not. You don't have to go there. It's not that important. If he seems like a personable person, eh, I'll give it a shot. Hey, maybe you could help me out with something. You look like you work out. I work with a company that has an incredible nutritional product. You've probably heard of it. It's called Isotonics. I'm allowed to give people free Isotonics this month. I'm helping the company with a survey. I have to give it to 10 people. I got nine done. I'm wondering if you could help me and try it. And it's that simple. So now that they have it, we have their phone number. We sent them the video link. All we have to do is very simple. We text, we text, and we call them. We text, we text, and we call them. And by the way, I mentioned keep three or four of these in your pocket. Think in terms of groups. Anytime you're in a group of people, you could knock out three, four, or five of these all at once. Here we are playing golf. Why would I just offer it to one of them? I got three people right there. So if I had three of them there, by the way, even if I hadn't given out any this month, this might be a little bit of a fib, but I might say to them, I'm supposed to give out 10 of them this month. And I have seven done. <laughs> I only have three left. I'm wondering if you three can help me out. 
If there's four people there, I'll probably say, I have six done. I only have four left. So now we text. We text the first day just to make sure they took it. Hey, Joe, it's Phil. I took my isotonics this morning. I'm checking on you. Did you take it? You have to do that because a lot of people, even if you sell them a whole kit of isotonics, sometimes don't start it for weeks on end and sometimes never start it. So I just check in to make sure they started it. The next day I text again, Joe, I don't know if I re remembered to give you the link to the video. Here it is. So I'm just dripping on him, right? Now think about this. What's the defining difference between our isotonics products and every other nutritional product out there? It's the isotonic capable delivery system. So I told him what that was in my own words when I first introduced this to him. Then I gave him the product with a brochure inside that detailed it spectacularly. Now, they may or may not be readers. Then I sent him a link to a video that does an amazing job of explaining all the uh, four product category groups in the Daily Essentials and why it's unique and different and delivers more nutrition than any tablet and capsule out there. And now I'm calling on the third day. And you have to call on the third day. And it's not weird to call on the third day. They agreed to take your call on the third day when they said they would help you out. You told them that you wanted them to try it a couple of days. You're going to give them a call. You had two questions, one on the product, one on the video. You should be, there should be no hesitation to call them. So you call them up. Joe, it's Phil. Hey, listen, you got a minute for me? I got to get my survey results in. I'll only take a minute. I know you're busy. I only got a couple of questions for you. You can't do this by text, and you can't do this by email. You have to do it with a phone call. So there's only four questions you have to ask. One, did you take it? Make sure they took it. Two, did you watch the video? Now, here's another spot where a lot of people I've talked to are messing up. I ask, do you ask about the video? They don't even ask. And some of them say, I ask, and a lot of people don't watch it. Well, make them watch it. They told you they would watch it. They said they would help you out. And you told them what it took to help you out. And part of that was to watch the video. How can you put your survey results in if they only did half the survey? So if they say to me, well, I didn't get a chance to watch it, I say, oh, geez, all right, you know what? No problem. It's uh, 12 o'clock. Let me text it to you again. It's only four minutes long. You can watch it on your phone. Can I call you back around 3? I'm making another attempt to get them to watch that video. Because I know that video helps me sell the product and helps people on my team sell the product. So don't lay down too easily. Now, if I call back at 3 o'clock and they still haven't watched it, I'm not going to beat it to death. Look, they're a nice person. They said they'd help me out with a free survey. They're helping me out. I'm not going to nag them. If that would be like a prospect who you showed the business to, they tried it out, and now they don't want in and you just keep twisting their arm to get in. What, you don't do that, you move on, next, right? Same thing here, they tried your product, they don't wanna go forward with it, all right, let it go. So, four questions. Did you take it? Did you watch the video? The third question is very simple. You can write it down. Was the video clear in explaining why isotonic capable solutions deliver more nutrition into your body than any tablet or capsule supplement on the market? And that's why people who drink isotonic nutrition feel the difference. Was that clear in the video? Did we make that point in the video, Mary? Now, if they admit to that, pretty much the product is sold at that point. And again, you can read it. You're on the phone. You write it down. Now, you know, that said, uh, I, won't, I won't do that whole act. Okay, next. <laughs> Last question is the big question. You don't ask, so did you like it? So did it give you energy? What did you think of the taste? How's the pain in your knee doing with that? No, all of those can have no or negative answers. This is the question. So tell me, what benefits did you experience? Then shut up, don't say anything. Sit there as long as it takes for them to speak up. A lot of times, people don't even get to that question because people you call, have any of you sold isotonics to somebody who that afternoon or the next day called you and said, hey, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but, and told you some story about some amazing result they thought they had. How many people? It happens all the time and will happen here too. So there's a certain percentage of people you're going to give this to who without any prompting by you are going to tell you that they love the product. There's going to be people who ask you how to get the product without any prompting. There's going to be other people where you're going to ask what benefits did you get, and that's what's going to lead to the sale. 
So, if they ask about the price, don't panic. That's probably the one common comeback that people have. Shockingly few people ask questions about the science. If anybody asks me a question about the science, just go to your back office, go to Daily Essentials, click on the Science tab, copy all that information, paste it into an email, and send it to them. Say, so you asked about the science, here it is. They'll have to scroll for about two weeks to get to the end of that email. There's so many scientific studies there. But nobody asks. But they do ask about the price, and we all know this by now. Break it down into small chunks, and it is less than the price of a cup of coffee. Everybody in this room goes out and drips money all day long. True or true? You buy a lottery ticket here, you buy an energy drink there, you go grab a beer, you get a cup of coffee. What's $2? It's, don't think that these products are too expensive. So, it's $2, all right, but what does it really come to, Phil? Well, a box of the Daily Essential packets that I gave you is $77. Well, that still sounds like a lot of money. Well, I guess, but what price do you put on your health? For what it's done for me, there is no price to put on it. I absolutely love it. But again, it's not my style to push them. I know if I give 10 of these out every month, I'm going to get three sales without thinking. So I'm not going to try to push too hard on the people that aren't going forward. I, I feel too much like the guy with the plaid jacket and the white patent leather shoes selling used cars. I, I just, I'm, I'm comfortable with the three sales. And by the way, we call it free trial size marketing. You give them out free all day long. How much does it cost you to do this? Nothing. <laughs> but I'm giving my product away free all day long. It costs you nothing. You're going to get at least three sales out of it. Those three sales are going to pay for all the free stuff that you give away. And it's going to be so much fun because giving stuff away for free is so much easier than selling stuff. And everybody likes to get free stuff. So what price do you put on your health? Look, if it's a no, it's a no. I might ask them one more question. Do you have any health concerns? And they might say any number of things. My skin is bothering me, this, that, the other thing. It might click with some product we have, and I might respond by saying, I might have something that can help you with that. Can I send you some information? Okay? If they exhibit any positive response whatsoever, you should be doing mental hula hoops. You should anticipate a positive response. Anything they say. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but it gave me more energy. I'm thinking straighter. I'm sleeping better. My allergies aren't bad. You just say to them, great. I knew you would get the benefit. Wait till you see how you feel after 90 days. You're assuming the sale. You're assuming they want it, and you're going to sell them not a little box, but a 90-day supply. And look, we don't have time to get into that, but if that becomes an issue, I'm telling them, look, I don't want you to just taste test it for 30 days. Most people see results within 14 to 90 days. Give it a fair shot. Take it for 90 days. If you take my word on this and sell 90-day supplies of this to the first-time sale customer, you will have more repeat reorder customers by doing that. Because they, they will get results sometime between uh, 14 and 90 days, or they'll just develop a new habit of every day getting up and drinking that glass of isotonics, and after 90 days, they just won't want to stop. So, wait till you see how you feel. This guy right here in that picture is a baseball player for the New York Yankees. His name is DJ LeMayhew. He won the batting title in the National League, meaning he had the highest batting average in the National League. And then he ended up as a free agent playing for the Yankees. And he right now is leading the American League in batting. And he could be the first baseball player in the history of Major League Baseball to win the batting title in both leagues. And his batting average is about 300. About 300. What that means is three out of every 10 times he comes to the plate, he gets a hit, a single, a double, a triple, a home run. But what it also means is seven out of every 10 times he comes to the plate, he fails. He makes an out. He strikes out. He hits into a double play. He has a lazy pop fly to center field. Seven out of ten times he fails, but he's a superstar. He's an all-star. He'll probably get a $500,000 bonus this year if he wins that batting title. Point being, don't get so concerned about the no's. I have people that call me and say, I have five people in a row that said no. Keep going. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. You'll get the sales. Just keep going. Consistency is key. It will average out. 
It will average out. If, and if you get your nose, when you get a no, you should get excited about it. You get another no today, you call Tom Holden. And you go, Tom, Tom, I'm so excited. I got shot down three times this week, three no's. I'm doing great. And you should feel that way. If you were in my group and I asked you, how many times have you been showing the plan? Oh, I've been doing good. How many no's have you gotten? Oh, a couple. Well, I know something's up. You're not really showing the plan if you tell me only a couple, right? And you got to show the plan, show the plan, show the plan. So if you tell me you're not getting the no's in this, then you're not doing it. But if you tell me you're getting a lot of no's, this is good because if you're getting a lot of no's, it means you're doing it. And if you're doing it, you're going to get the sales. The sales are going to create retail profit, which makes the business real. It makes the business real. A lot of people try to prospect, recruit, and sponsor people to become their business partners when they have no customers. What kind of business is that? How does that really translate? When you have customers and retail profit, it makes the business real. It generates BV, which boosts your commissions, which ultimately leads you to attract more potential business partners. I hope this was some help. I'll see you around the campus. We are getting some good things going today, Trail Size Marketing. By the way, Field Vice President Phil Guido, he does what he teaches, leading by example. Ooh, nice. All right, so now building on retail marketing. So we did a little trial size marketing. Now we got to learn how to mix and mingle, right? All right, we're going to bring it on right now. This next speaker is from Houston, Texas. Uh, she is a six-figure earner, and she, when it comes to motives and skincare, she rocks. And we've asked her to come here to give you more insight on when you're holding mix and mingles, and if you're not, you should be thinking about it. Please help me welcome to the stage, superhero, <laughs> majoring in motives and personal care, Quimby Franovich. Motives Cosmetics is not only a cosmetic line leading the beauty industry, but it provides an opportunity for women to uncover their gifts and their talents in pursuit of their purpose. I want to thank Lauren for giving us this gift of motives because not only has it impacted my life and our area, but around the globe, empowering women to be themselves and to unleash their inner beauty. Stretching and stepping out of my comfort zone over the past six years has been such a rewarding experience as we've worked to expand Motives Cosmetics in the Houston area. Realizing the potential with pioneering a new area and leveraging everything that Motives had to offer to be able to have a brand that we are proud to stand behind, a brand that offers interpersonal relationships, bringing the beauty counter to you, whether it's at a professional setting like a salon or a spa, or a retail event in the comfort of your own home. What I have found over the years of having Motives events are there are specific key ingredients that make up for a successful event. The first is fun. How many of you like having fun? You've got to have fun. The goal is to create a fun, stress-free environment. You know, we have the ability to walk into a room and shift the atmosphere, right? So you want that environment. When your guests arrive and they come in your front door, you want them to feel welcomed. You want the energy to be high. You want them to have a VIP experience. They're not there only to learn about the products and try some of the products, but they're also there to meet an incredible team of beauty advisors that are representing the Motives brand. It's super important to have that environment. And as you master some of our event systems that we have to offer, our Time to Shine, our Blend Your Beauty event, Beauty Basics, and the All About Skin, I want to thank Dennis Franks and Lisa Martin for allowing me the opportunity to give back to the field and introduce to you the Motives Mix and Mingle. This is an event system I created about a year ago and have been teaching it throughout our area and has had a lot of success in expanding Motives in Houston and throughout. The Mix and Mingle is an interactive beauty experience that offers multiple product demo stations and also leverages all the programs that Motives has to offer. I love this quote by Steve Jobs. 
You know, it's not what I can do or what you could do, but it's what we all can do together that can make an impact on other people's lives. I want to thank my amazing team, the team that's here and the team that has worked with me over the past year to refine the system. I give you the credit for helping us create what it is today. And as you build your team of people that you want to help carry out this event, it's important to bring in beauty advisors throughout the area. I wanted to honor my team by bringing them into my presentation. So last week, we hold it, held the most amazing mix and mingle at my home. We had over 50 women there, consisting of five of our Motives Pro artists, a couple of our Motives Apprentice, over 15 beauty advisors, and 25 guests. <laughs> and my incredible daughter, Autumn Casey, who is a photographer, came and she captured amazing images so I could portray to you what the mix and mingle looks like and how you could have good success with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, a diamond takes many, many years to develop. It's built by, by intense heat and pressure. And a diamond in its raw form has all kinds of flaws and imperfections. And it's not till it's polished and faceted until you see the true beauty. Well, many of you don't know this about me, but I couldn't even speak in front of five people years ago. I had zero confidence and zero self-esteem through things that I went through in my life, and I didn't think my voice mattered. And it wasn't until people believed in me that helped me develop the belief in myself until I found my identity. And I stand here today to share with you and inspire you to change and take action and to encourage you encourage you to break free of the barriers that are holding you back. Because I lived my life in fear for so many years and stopped myself from opportunities that, that God put in my path. And I also hope to bring hope to you that change is possible and waiting for you as well. Thank you. And I'm so thankful for those who have been in my path in this business my amazing mentor, Jackie Blasco, who's believed in me from day one. David and Stacy, who have stretched me beyond and believed in me to be stretched and do things that I never thought was capable of. And Tom Holden for always holding me to it and keeping me accountable and never letting me give up. And each of you that have played a big part in the development of who I've become today. Because Motives is bigger than a cosmetic line. Would you all agree? It is life-changing, just like you've heard testimonies of this business from different people here. It is life-changing, and I'm so thankful for what it's done in my life. And the reward is that now my goal is to go out and dig for other diamonds and help uncover their gifts and their talents and help them find their identity. You know, we all have God-given gifts, right? So when we each come together and leverage our gifts and our talents, we can create a unified team that's a strong team that will create the event success that you're looking for. Look for people who are energetic, positive, outgoing, life-giving, inspired by makeup, coachable to follow simple systems. With our mix and mingle, we like to have someone representing each one of our programs, each share a two-minute testimonial about what Motives has done for them and their business. So we have our Motives Beauty Advisors, who are the everyday women who are passionate about cosmetics. These are a couple of our Motives Apprentice, Cameron Chadwick and Alina Flores, who actually became apprentice when they were 16 years old. And they got certified in motives and began to expand it in the area. And when they turned 18, they partnered with the company and now they're beauty advisors and they're excited about having a future with motives. We have, this is just a few of our amazing motives pro artists. How many of you would love to have an beauty entourage that follows you everywhere you go, right? My amazing makeup artist, Jen Ayala, also known as Jen Jen, um, has been such a blessing and helped doll me up today for you. And she has been an intricate part also in the success of this event system and is expanding in the Latino division with Motives Cosmetics. But our makeup artist, 
Anyone who's in the professional industry can leverage this opportunity with motives and be a part of this mix and mingle. Because this mix and mingle is going to draw in your professionals, your beauty um, connoisseurs, as well as your young apprentices who are looking to pursue a career with motives or the cosmetic industry. As a trainer of the, for the past four years, I have loved being able to educate others on what our company has to offer through motives and to give people simple tools that they can create success in their business. It's been my passion to help uncover those gifts and talents through the process. With our mix and mingle, would you all agree that we have what the beauty industry is looking for? Yes. Bringing in skincare, cosmetics, customized cosmetics, and health and nutrition, all to give a full beauty approach and teach beauty from the inside out is absolutely incredible. I was actually introduced to this company through our health and nutrition that radically changed my life and restored my health over six years ago. I suffered with IBS and fibromyalgia and was praying for hope and change in my life. Little did I know that it was gonna come packaged in this incredible company. But after my health began to be restored is when I first took a look at our motives and fell in love with the concept of creating customized cosmetics. So teaching beauty from the inside out has been an absolute passion to not only help women look good on the outside, but also to feel good on the inside, because we all know people who are struggling in their health. With our Mix and Mingle, we have eight product demo stations where each guest can go and interact and try some of our products. We have the All About Skin, where they're getting to demo one of our skincare lines and use our skincare analysis. We have our Beauty Bliss Cocktail. This is a combination of your OPC Beauty Blend and your Kiwi Strawberry Aloe. It is a crowd favorite. We have our Get the Look Station. This is usually put together by the professional makeup artists as well as the beauty advisors that are doing cosmetic demos. Our Royal Hand Treatment will leave your hands feeling exfoliated and fresh. And our skin... Um, our ring cleaner, our snap ring cleaner, will bring the bling back to your rings. Our name the stain is our customized lip stain station where you can custom create your own lip stain and name it what you want. Blend your beauty, offering beauty in every shade by one of our custom blend specialists there to have hands-on beauty approach. A perfect pout station to get your perfect pout in. And the last station is our spin to win where you're able to go through all those stations and at the end of it, spin to take home a prize. And one of these gifts are actually part of the system that you, each guest tried out. So this ensures the follow-up process for them. Now you have a guest that has, has a product that you can call and follow up and maybe build a testimony within them. Our event we had the other day, we had incredible retail sales. We had multiple guests who are looking at um, exploring our opportunity and multiple guests who also wanted to have and host one of the mix and mingles. So it's an amazing way to expand motives in your area. And I want to sum it up by just sharing that this, this is, like I said, is bigger than just motives and cosmetics. This is a vehicle to change lives and I'm so thankful that I am here today and have the opportunity to share and give you hope and inspire you to take action, make an impact, make Lauren and Lala proud of all the hard work that they've put into Motives. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick summary in 90 seconds, all right? Then I'm gonna send you, put this in your notebook after I do this. This morning, amazing start, new products. New opportunities, 80% BV, 75% BV, 40% retail profit. We move from there to learn how we retail. We talked about different methods, four different types of methods. You pick the one that you like. We have to take action. We have to pick the product. We have to learn about the product, be a product of the product, know your tools, and you're gonna begin having that conversation. We then moved on to talk about what you have at your disposal through the Market America University and the different options for people who are looking for a business as well as looking for a product. And then we finished up with how to market and retail your products. We talked about the actual core of our business, about being driven not only by the plan, but the BV that's regenerated on a regular basis because of personal use and retail. It is essential 
that each of you understand your target is 500 BV per month in production to your clients as well as your personal use. It is imperative that you work towards 10 repeat customers generating enough cash flow to help support your business as you expand distribution. And it is incredibly important that you understand that you don't have to eat the elephant in one bite. You have to understand that you can go ahead and get two, three, four new customers. But what did we commit to earlier? Five new customers by the end of the month. How many of you raised your hands earlier? I saw thousands of you. Raise your hand if you're gonna get me five new customers by the end of the month. How many of you are gonna try the new products, gonna order them this week? Right, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, if we do what we commit to, you will be at that next conference. Hi. Hi, darling. How are you? You're the best. I just wanna say something. Because this was such a fabulous segment this afternoon. Did you guys get it? Because you're quiet, but I want to make sure you really get it. Like just watching Quimby, guys, she's making seven to 10,000 a month. She wasn't doing that two years ago. If you can't do a mix and mingle, what is wrong? A mix and mingle, did you see those photos? She's not showing you the photos just to show you the photos. She's showing you the photos so you can duplicate it. Think about that. If that's what it takes for you to get to seven to 10,000 a month, are you gonna do it? Yeah. Oh. Right. Are you gonna do it? You see Phil Guido, you hear all the stuff that they talked about. We made this like a retail day. If you don't get how easy it is to hit these levels in this business by just yes. sharing. I like to think of us as a sharing company. Somebody say share. Share. Somebody say share. Share. How hard is it? How hard is it to just share a product? All she did was get some girls together and share a product. Two years ago, I knew Quimby. She wasn't making seven to 10 grand a month. Was she, Tom? Was she, David and Stacy? But look what's happening. So all you need to do is do this. I just wanted to reinforce that because I'm sitting down there going, do they get it? <laughs> do you get it? That's Absolutely. all you got to do. Say, could I add one thing? Yes. I think the word share is amazing. Yes. If you say share, can I say care? Because yes. if you share and care, say you're going to get a whole lot. Yes. All right? Say, can someone say share? Yes. Care. care. We're a caring, sharing company. Absolutely. Thanks, Lord. All right. See y'all. Enjoy the rest of the day.